During crisis and economic depression, small business owners often struggle with making sales and keeping the loyalty of their people because if you ain't selling, it's hard to pay the bills. On the Ethical Sales Podcast, you will learn new ways to selling ethically and communicating with your people to create more loyalty and getting out of the rut of stress and frustration. When there is plenty of sales, there should be plenty of profits to keep things flowing smoothly and everybody be happy. But I hear that little birdie in the, <laughs> in the background. Oh, there's something I'm, I'm sorry you didn't all right, hear that. See, spots. a self-aware no, person hears all the little background noises like that sparrow outside the window. Blind, well, our listeners will like the sparrow outside the window. And the door's open, so we're getting the road noise, too. You know, self-awareness is, I think, one of the most important things that a leader can be aware of. Have you ever met a a leader that is not self-aware? Like, thinks himself to be somebody different than he really is? Usually, they would think they're a leader, and they might actually not be. Or they are a very destructive leader. Mm -hmm. You know, someone that uh, maybe he has the position or the title but he has not earned it and he right. is not earning it. And people don't like him, don't like that person mm-hmm. because they might be in a leadership position, but they're truly not leading. And so often, like you mm-hmm. said, so often it is because of lack of awareness, personal mm-hmm. awareness, being aware of their own life. It's a sad day when other people see you as a different person than you see yourself. Being vulnerable enough to invite feedback is really important for growth. If you don't invite feedback from the people that you're around, then that's not a safe environment for people to be around. And so your people are going to avoid you as much as possible. The sad thing is probably behind your back, those people are talking about your shortcomings anyways. We may as well be super honest about those things, not only just to ourselves but to our people, because we all have strong points and we all have weak points, and we all have blind spots in our lives that we can't really see. Coach Burt says you can't see the picture when you're inside the frame. Our spouses can be somebody out in our lives that can help us with those things if we allow them to, because there's nobody closer to us than our spouses. And so we see things in them and they see things in us that we can help each other with. But being vulnerable enough to accept that feedback, it doesn't always feel good, but it'll help us grow. It'll help us become more aware. So asking people, uh, that's one way to work on this. The other way, I think, would be to spend time listening to other leaders. Mm -hmm. Listen to personal development books, audio books, podcasts go to conferences, uh, spend some time with people that are really making a difference in the world, sometimes that'll bring out some of our own areas we need to work on. That's being self-aware. Probably two years ago, us brothers, there's uh, six, seven of us brothers, but there was five or six, I think five of us, were traveling to a hunting show together for the day and we had a bunch of road time. And so we decided, you know, just for kicks and jiggles, every one of us, we had to say one thing that we feel like the other person could grow in, work on this, and you become a better person, a better leader, a better father, a better husband, a better person to be around. And then we also have to give a compliment. The rule was we could only say thank you for the feedback. We couldn't defend ourselves like, no, I'm not like that, right? Because us as men, we tend to do this. Like we tend to be very defensive about who we are. I'm a man. I, I'm, there's nothing wrong with me. That's actually a problem with men in today's lack world. Lack of self-awareness. It's just lack of, lack of being vulnerable enough to say, you know, I screwed up or, you know, I could work on that. It was pretty interesting. Like we went through, I mean, it took us a couple hours on the road. Every one of us was like, okay, Elias, you know, and all six or five brothers, they all said, okay, Elias, this is something that you could work on. Um, but this is something that you're really good at. And the good at things felt good and the work on things you're like, I don't think you guys see me quite right. But the truth is they see me quite right. I wasn't seeing myself quite right. And it's that way in most of our lives. Be willing to invite feedback, work on that self-awareness thing. And the biggest thing I say in this thing is a sad day when you think you're a leader, but other people think and see you differently than you see yourself. You want that to line up who people see you as and who you see yourself as. If that doesn't really line up, then you're probably not a good leader. This ties right back into our other episode about building rapport and building trust, being likable. You know, it's really working on ourselves as leaders. So being self-aware is a huge step in the right direction. 
Thank you for listening to this week's Ethical Sales Podcast. Most salespeople know that they need to be likable and trustworthy, but it's hard to remember all the steps. Sales Made Fast and Easy is a printable one-page checklist that helps you quickly understand how your prospect wants to buy, so you can sell your product or service faster, easier, and so you get happier customers and more referrals. With this free checklist, we'll help you discover what motivates prospects to say yes and no, how to use questions as an effective tool for sales domination, why being yourself will make it easier for others to trust in you so you can serve them, and so much more. Download the Sales Made Fast and Easy printable one-page checklist now at leaderminded.com forward slash sales checklist. leaderminded.com forward slash sales checklist. This episode was hosted by the Max Potential Podcast Network. Find more great shows at maxpotential.com.